Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill uh, Nicholson. YouTube's your boy Mill Nivison back with another video and today we got the Mellow Ball Rock Ridge Red Blast pretty much in the building. Now this was a shoe that I kind of was like on the fence on getting because I wasn't sure whether I wanted to get it or not. Um, and sure enough, shout out to Champs for you know securing your boy with the pair because as soon as the Rick and Marty hype got up, I want to say like the, the attention kind of shifted to other Mellow Ball shoe releases, right? Buzz City, size 13, pretty much was a wrap. Uh, Puma had the Rock Ridge Red on their website, but size 13 sold out. It kind of restocked and then it sold out again. So I wanted to get the shoe. Originally, I said I didn't want to get the shoe, but because I've been wearing Buzz City, which is right here, I've been wearing this shoe so much. It's so comfortable with that Puma Nitro. I want to say the Nitro Foam, I should say, that surrounds pretty much within the, the, the midsole. Like the cushioning system with this is ridiculous. And I would put this up with any easy foam, easy easy slide, because when you put your foot in here, the padding and the cushioning, it is sick. So, with that said and done, man, put this back. I'm gonna put this back because there's some similarities that I've been seeing with Rock Ridge, the red version. Uh, and the red hue is similar to something that I like to wear. And I'm gonna explain why I got that shoe. So, with that said and done, Let's open this box up right here. Actually, technically, it's kind of open. But the box, the Mellow Ball shoe is in the building. Now, the box is pretty much similar to what I did in my last video, Buzz City. I think this is the common box that's going to be utilized for most of his releases. Keep in mind, he did have a purple or violet colorway that was used in the NBA All-Star game. And I can't wait. Hopefully, I'm able to get that because that purple actually has the same hue something else that I have in, in the lineup, but I'll explain that later on. But of course, here's the box right here. You've seen it before, seen it again, not from here. And also one of one with Mellow Balls logo. I'm going to explain to that in detail because I didn't think I did that in the Buzz City video. But a lot of Mellow Balls or the Mellow Balls tattoos that you see on his body, being the chest, the leg, and the arm, are actually symbolized on the shoe. Let's get into that right now. So, got that somewhat translucent box right there where you can see the actual shoe inside. Let's take a look at this, man, because I am, ooh, yes. So excited to see these. And Rock Ridge, I'm going to put this shoe right here. Rock Ridge is not really a colorway that you see. It's not a common colorway that you see on shoes. So, when I saw the pictures and everything else that came with it i'm thinking to myself like I've, I've never really seen this type of colorway before i really haven't so this is one of the colorways i wanted to put in my lineup because it was unique it's something i didn't have but here we go right here rock ridge red blast and i'll say like the color if i were to explain the color of rock ridge i would say that it says gray in it but technically rock ridge is like a form of a brown right so it's like a brown slash dark gray mixture and that's kind of why this looks like but what puma's red blast to me looks like is the equivalent of a jordan infrared right that's the type of hue that you're looking at when you're looking at this red hue and i'll get into that momentarily in terms of why again i got this shoe but let's get into the shoe man because you can see right here one of one actually you know what you see one of one in a lot of places one of one on the tongue, one of one on the overlay, synthetic overlays, and then I think it's one on one, I'm not mistaken, on the bottom, which is the rubber outsole. <laughs> I wanted to start there because one of one, if I'm not mistaken, is the tattoo that's on. Ooh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so bad if I get this one. It's either the lamella ball's chest or it might be his arm. I know it's not his leg because I know what's on his leg, but his arm or chest has 101 and that is actually what they have on the shoe now we've seen mellow ball mb1 and ironically if you google mb1 this shoe the name of this shoe actually started with big baller brand which was the shoe company that his father started and there was an mb1 version that came out then which you see right here but of course what lamello signed with puma mb01 and now they changed it to 
this design, which I think is, no offense, I just think that this is better, least expensive, and the technology is definitely there with that Puma Nitro Foam that kind of resides within the shoe. Now, this flame, of course, you got the flame ankle color design. Um, this flame is actually on LaMelo's leg. And you'll see the picture right here, and you'll see that it also says MB1 on there. Again, he had this shoe name prior to actually signing with Puma, so had the leg tattoo right there for anybody that's kind of confused. Like, that's a younger LaMelo ball before it was announced that he was signed with Puma, blah, 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 blah. Just wanted to get that away so you understand exactly what's going on. And also, when you look on the tongue, you'll see that LaMelo Ball's one, that's featured right here with the wings, uh, that is actually a symbol of the number one that's being shown on LaMelo's jersey. That kind of, that's the whole idea, if I'm not mistaken, when I read it. Um, and also, the tattoos that you see in terms of the flame, I think there's like a tiger, a cub, um, an astronaut, I mean, you name it, and then the flame. So they have different meanings. So think of strength, power, knowledge, stuff like that. It kind of, that's kind of whole transition with the three tattoos that you see on his chest, his leg, his arm. And again, some of those features, those tattoo features that you see on his arm, I want to say chest and even the leg, is also featured on the shoe. That's why we see these subtle designs in it. Of course, it does have that textile, somewhat textile mesh upper. Um, and actually the materials that they do in terms of the synthetic upper and the mesh on the tongue as well. This shoe, the Rock Ridge, is similar to Buzz City, for anybody wondering, because I felt like when the Rick and Morty came out, the, the materials looked a little bit different. But for anybody wondering, um, if you saw my last video when I did Bus City, the materials are actually exactly the same. You can see they both feature that whole mellow featured on the, the heel portion right there. But in, as, in terms of the materials themselves, as I'm getting something stuck in my mouth, pause, it's definitely the same. There's really no difference between Rock Ridge and Bus City as far as the material. So I'm just going to put that back here. Now... In terms of a preference, I still prefer the Buzz City, but I do have a surprise coming up later on this week, so stick around on the Miltnificent channel. And I'm going to explain why I actually got the Rock Ridge Red, because, again, Rock Ridge is not a color that you're going to see on most sneakers, right? So that's one of the reasons. Second reason, this is going to blow your mind. Remember, I said that this red, to me, is like an infrared, right? Infrared equivalent to the Jordan, so... Got the British khakis right here, Travis Scott. <laughs> if you follow my channel, you know that I wore that shoe with a particular jacket. That's right. The Yeezy Red Brown jacket. The color hue that is on this shoe, right? The Red Blast is basically similar to this jacket. So I don't know if anybody caught on to that, but that was the reason why I actually ran to go get it. I'm like, well, you know what? I already got a couple of shoes from the Jordan brand that I wear with this jacket. Why not do it with Puma? And quite frankly, I can't wait for this surprise to come in at the end of the week because I am itching to show people what I was able to cop. Um, there's actually a couple of other things that's coming down the line, but I'm not going to get there yet. But I'm telling you right now, for this shoe, in terms of that rubber outsole that has rare, now this is actually black. So you should be able to see it on this Rock Ridge rubber style outsole. But it also does read Golden Child. I don't know if you can see that right there. I will have a picture right there just in case you're not able to see it. Uh, but you see the subtle details around this. I've already had my opinion about this in my last video in terms of the bus city, but the overall concept of the shoe. But the padding, I cannot stress enough that the padding within this shoe, including that nitro foam that you have on the bottom, it feels like you're taking steps in pillows. And you feel this instantaneously. As soon as you put on the shoe, that's why I love the shoe so much. And I can't wait again to show you guys what I have in store. But for now, your boy, Milknificent, Rock Ridge Red, comment below. Let me know what you think about this colorway. Again, it's not a really a colorway that you see on most shoes. It's something unique. And the reason why I got it, again, it's unique. It goes in my jacket. A few other things that I have in the, uh, the closet, but I, I won't reveal that. And for anybody wondering, I do recommend true to size if possible. This shoe to me... Fits people with wide feet just fine. I've had some people say that they prefer to go a half size up, but the majority of people said 
or felt like it was true to size. Just putting it out there though. But, and also, I think the only knock to this shoe is if you're playing indoor basketball and they said that the out, I think, yeah, the rubber outsole collects a lot of dust. So you'd be sitting there kind of doing that wipe, a couple wipes on the floor. But in terms of durability, I know a lot of people were complaining about the materials used on these synthetic uppers and the mesh. You got to keep in mind that this is his first signature shoe. Most first signature shoes do not have a lot of engineering concept behind it. In terms of the materials used is what I mean. Just saying, the second version, the third version, however LaMelo's career is in the NBA, I can ultimately guarantee it would only get better. And Puma, shout out to you guys for the Nitro Foam. Please feature this. Feature Nitro Foam and future releases. And I can ultimately guarantee you can see success in the future. But your boy, Magnificent Mad, I am out. We're going to do that on feet. We got the Mellow Ball 01 Rock Ridge Red Blast in the building. I'm not done yet, but we'll see. Somebody just buzzed me. <laughs> I am out, and you guys stay blessed.